for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymadencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back from another Madden Ultimate video. Today, we got some brand new content. We got some new free players, some new solos, and some pretty cool stuff. Now, before we get into the video, boys, we are at 1,962 subs as of recording this video. We are 38 subs away from 2K. Everyone watching this video, go drop the sub. Let's get me to 2K. Once we get to 2K, I'll be dropping the giveaway of the 300K coins. I'll be, I'll be what's it called? Drawing that. So now, make sure to also go follow me on Twitter because I'll first be announcing the winner on Twitter until I make a video. So if you want to know nice and early, go over to Twitter. So what we'll be doing is I'll be tweeting it out. It'll be on, then it'll be on YouTube afterwards. But until then, go over there. Make sure to go poodle underscore gaming underscore. Go drop the follow on Twitter. It's where I post a lot of stuff. I talk a lot on there. So if you want to stay updated, go over there. Twitter's a cool place for Madden. I recommend heading over there. Now, besides that, make sure to like. As per usual, 150 likes, 20K. Comment 20K down below. We hit it. We get you. Someone gets it. We actually did just hit the like on another video, so I will be giving you guys the winners of that in the next video also. I'm pretty sure we hit it. I'm going to go back and check. Make sure it's for the time restraints. Now, also make sure to sub. That's about it. And make sure to comment 20K. So getting to this video, we got the new late round heroes. Let's see if I can see a little news alert. Not there. Okay, so the solo challenges are right here. You come over here to the path of the draft. And the late round heroes are... <coughs> excuse me. Let's see. There are 31 solos. They appear to be mostly moments, so they're not going to be too bad. They'll be pretty easy. Uh, per usual, the last game will probably be a full game. Let's see. Complete this and add a test. Yeah. Oh, this you have to get stats on, but like, or those bonus. No, those are bonuses. But anyways, these are typically full games. These last two. I don't know about this one. No, this one. With yeah, this one's in the. This one starts in the first quarter. This one starts. Hmm. Doesn't say. But typically, these last two are almost full games, so good luck with those. Those won't be too bad, but they're never typically that fun to do. <clears throat> I'm going to have to start playing these. I kind of want those two free players. Might as well, right? And then let's go over to where I think the best players are to be taken for this. So we got the path to the draft. These are the two new sets. So the Tom Brady, late round master, and then the Telvin Smith, late round master. So you can add three to get either or. Now, there's going to be these three new players, and then there's going to be... These players that you already knew about, Richard Sherman, Delaney Walker, John Sullivan. So for the late round masters, who I would take if I was getting a free one. So there's Grady Jarrett, Rick Wagner, Rashad Jones. So now let's look at their stats real quick. Grady Jarrett being a defensive tackle might not be the most useful, but it's a position you might not want to buy. So he's got a 76 speed, 86 excel, 94 strength, 95 tackle, 96 play rec, 98 block shedding, 96 power moves, and an 89 finesse move, and he's six feet tall. He's not bad. If you don't have a defensive tackle, just toss him in there. It'll be a quick little quick little one to have. Now, this one's pretty good right here because it's a Rick Wagner, so it's a right tackle. So, if you don't have a right tackle, perfect card just to throw. This is this is like this whole round is like a perfect way to get guys you'd rather not buy. So, he has really good stats like 98 pass block, 98 uh, pass block power, 97 pass block finesse, 96 run block, 96 run block power, and 92 run block finesse. This card's awesome for a free card at least. I would definitely possibly take this guy. If I didn't have a right tackle, I do have one, so I probably wouldn't even take him. But I mean, out of these three, I'd probably still take him. I think he might be better than the one I currently have. And this Rashad Jones, I see he's looking like the speed's killer. I mean, 92 speed, 95 excel, 92 tackle, 89 play rec, 96 pursuit, 89 man coverage, 96 zone coverage, and 98 hit power. So stats are awesome, but 92 speed kind of sucks. I mean, if you power him up, it'll be a 93 tall sprinter. And John Madden, you could, probably, you could probably get this card up to like a 96, 97, depending. But still, like, it should be 99 at this point. So, I mean, that kind of that kind of throws me off on that card. Now, I'm guessing you can still get these cards out of that solo, too. So, if I had to choose from here, like I said yesterday, I personally like this Richard Sherman for some reason. They always play good. I was thinking about it. Richard Sherman cards are always so tall and can always jump. So, like, they, they always makes up for lack of speed. Like, you might have a guy burned, but Richard Sherman has the height and the jumping to really just get that ball all the time. So, like... He's like the king of throwing people off. But again, if you get this guy, he'll be a 97 speed, probably. If you power him up with John Madden's Sprinter. So, he'll be locked down. So, like, I out of these three, at least, I like Richard Sherman or John Sullivan, probably. Those are probably my two choices. Now, so I would take Rick Wagner, John Sullivan, Richard Sherman, or, uh, damn, who was that other guy? Or Don Terry Poe. Oh, Grady Jarrett. It's Grady Jarrett. 
So, if I had to choose between all of them, my first choice would be probably John Sullivan being a center. I don't have a center. Then it would be Richard Sherman. Then it would probably be hmm, Rick Wagner, then Grady Jarrett. In terms of my team's needs, I'm probably going to be doing these today, possibly, depending on if I want to go play MLB after this. I could use these players. I could start getting the team up a little again. And um, like I said, with the giveaways and stuff, I haven't been focusing on my team too much. I feel like I'm already at a point where my team's pretty good, so I don't got to focus on it too much. Or I'll get back a little bit. Not really a fan of Delaney Walker. In case you didn't see yesterday's video, go over the stats on why, in case anyone's thinking about getting him. 89 speed. I mean, like, I feel like there's plenty more tight ends. Like, I'd rather have the Gronk at the, at this at this price point and this stats. Like, I feel like the Gronk was the same card and he was free if he did house rules. Like, the Gronk would be a little faster. And he has better catching Gronk. And he has the same run blocking. And I think a better strength. So, me personally, I'm going with Gronk if I had a choice. If you have the Gronk already, like, I'm assuming a lot of people do. Not to mention, I feel like Gronk's better. Now, if you have to pick one of these cards to get Tom Brady or Telvin Smith, in my opinion, I would take Telvin Smith. Telvin Smith is a beastly outside linebacker. The only issue with him is that if you have Lawrence Taylor and then Tom Brady, the issue with him is every other quarterback that you might have this year already. That you probably have a big power chain on. Now, if you're a Patriot fan or you're a Tom Brady fan, go for it. He's probably awesome. He always plays good. But with the way the meta is this year, I feel like you kind of need a mobile quarterback a little bit. Like, obviously, if you're really, really good, you don't need anything. But, like, you don't need a certain set meta. But... I feel like for most players, having an immobile Tom Brady would be a little harder. Depends on who you play, right? Ooh, excuse me. Like, if you're playing someone who's, like, nano blitzing you the whole game, Tom Brady you might have issues with because he's not able to move at all. As someone with Vic might give you a little bit of extra time that you might need between plays. So, hopefully, I can go do these solos. Get these done. I also want this new Odell Beckham Jr. 99. I have this one. I want to get the, the next one. Personally, I don't even know how I take this team from this point out. Like, my team you see, haven't, hasn't moved in a while. I've been so focused on YouTube and, like, MLB and making videos and stuff that I really haven't put too much time into my team, and I've been giving away a lot of my coins. <clears throat> so I don't really know the direction in which I'll be taking this team. I mean, like, it's still pretty good, considering that I haven't touched it in, like, weeks. But it's just that weekend league right now, like, the gameplay is so unplayable that I feel like even if I go get those new players, I'm not really going to enjoy playing with them. I cannot wait for Madden 20. I, I wish it would come sooner. But until then, I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm have some things in the works, personally. I'm thinking of, like, I don't know. There's so much I want to do on Madden, and there's just, I don't know how to, how I should go about it. Like, I don't know. It's, it's tough. It's tough. It really is. I don't know how I'm going to go about this, personally. I wish there was something specific that I could make a whole thing about on Madden. If you guys have any ideas, comment down below. I'm, I've been trying to think. Maybe, like, a budget squad or, like, some something but the issue with the and the issue with the issue with any gameplay for me is that i can't record gameplay because it pixelates and elgato couldn't help me with that so i'm gonna have to call like obs i guess i think it's more of an obs issue personally because ever since i've been used ever since whenever i do things on obs it happens but i use like game capture crappy software it works but i don't like the game capture software so that's why when you guys comment where all your gameplays and stuff that is specifically why i haven't posted any it's just because i'm limited by what i can record right now which kind of sucks but anyways if you're still at this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you guys could so kindly go down below, drop the sub. Let's get to 2K by tonight. It would mean, it would mean a lot to me because literally a month ago I tweeted out like, thank you guys for 200 subs. So if I can hit 2K subs tonight, that'd be awesome. I'll really appreciate that. Then I'll drop the giveaway. And then right when that giveaway is over, I'll be doing another one. So we have 829K. So once I get done with that one, we have another one and then another one. So that's what we'll be doing. Hopefully we can hit it by tonight. I think we will. I'm pretty sure we will. It was just a slower day yesterday. And then make sure to comment down below 20k for your usual chance of a, of a 20k 150 likes we've hit it a few times back before i was doing this and now that i'm doing this we're barely we're just we get so close and then the video flames out so hopefully and um yeah so 150 likes comment and sub and before i head out you know what let's get some quick packs because i haven't pulled a single limited time this entire year a single one not one limited time this entire year. It's crazy. And I feel like I might I might go this entire... Oh, besides... This, oh, ooh, okay. That was a good one. This is a pretty good pack, actually. Well, besides this entire year, I have not pulled an entire and limited time in my whole career. I've been playing since Madden 13. I still have never gotten one. So, I'm due. I'm so due. It's crazy. Like, if I got one, that'd be crazy. Doubt I will. Damn. One more. It's crazy that I haven't gotten one. Come on, just one limited time. I'll go crazy. 
Come on. What's even out right now? Chuck Panarik. As per usual, boys, another three packs wasted that I will not. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, my throat's a little dry. That I will not be making a limited time pull on. Now, I think I made my money back with that Jesse James, so I'm not really concerned. I'm not really concerned with that. I think I got enough back in that to make my money back, but still, it's just the fact that I want to get a limited time pull. Yeah, it's fine. So thank you guys so much for watching. That's the end of this video. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Don't forget to sub.